Hey friends, Christy Glass here with some stash acquisitions for you. It's been piling up a little bit, so I wanted to get in here and show you what I have stashed lately. I want to start off with the Knitting Cove, which has all the yarns, but as I was leaving, I was just drawn to this, I know this is, this is really random, but I was drawn to this Peria Night yarn. It's sparkly. And I think the reason I was drawn to it is because, can you tell it's like metallic-y here? Let's see, it's, um, oh gosh, I can't, oh, 85% viscose, 15% metallic yarn. It's called Night. 137 yards and it says it uses a size 7 needle so I guess that's like a fingering fingering weight bordering on DK it's it's a little bit thick and the reason I was drawn to this is because I just returned from Europe this summer and there was a ton of sweaters that had natural wool with a pop of metallic and I just I grabbed them so I have two of each I can't wait to incorporate them into a project. When I watch the Espas Chico ladies, I get influenced to buy stuff. And I knew they were coming to Rhinebeck so that they could just hand me my items instead of paying the Canadian shipping. So I ordered a few things from their shop. I, I just, I got a skein of Aran weight and a pop. I got a hat, I got a hat. So this is Merino Aran by Hedgehog in Boombox. I don't even remember buying this. <laughs> But I had to have this pom-pom. So this is the vegan pom-pom made in Austria. And it's it's shocking that it's vegan. It's very furry, fur-like. So I guess I was just thinking I needed a hat. So here it is. Also from Espas Trico, I got my my leather cord and needle. I've, I've been hesitating to buy this now for years. And I find myself working on projects and thinking, man, I wish I had that leather cord and needle set. So here it is. One thing I heard from Shamika is that you have to condition your leather with some wax or something. So I need to look into what I need to do to make this an ideal tool. But I'm excited to try it. That is from Coco Knit. So what you do with it is when you have to put stitches on a holder, you can just put it on this leather, this leather cord, and then you can knit right off of it because it's sturdy enough. I think that would be good too to try on a sweater when you're in the midst of making it. So it says, I'll just tell you what's in here. It says two interior threaded needles made of nickel plated steel, three lengths of leather cord, one long for holding stitches of a sweater, two short for holding stitches of sleeves. Yay, that's cool. Uh, let's see, uh, the lady, the, the woman behind Row House Yarns, she stopped in, Cheryl, and she gave me this bag with um, little stitch markers here. All different sizes, yay. And also some Sincere Sheep in Hot Pants and Prayer and Artemis. They're both DK. This one is, well they're both 15% Tessa Silk and 85% Polworth Wool. The name is Luminous, so this yarn is Luminous. Row House has a lot of cool kits over there, and they're very finely curated, so you can get such a beautiful, nice project at rowhouse.com. Thank you for that. I mentioned this pattern called Pinky on my channel. I can't remember when, but I think that the pattern wasn't out. There was, maybe it was on Ravelry, but the pattern wasn't available. But since, um, since mentioning it, Leslie Jennings of Cape Cod Knits has published it. So this was the sweater. And she printed it out and handed it to me at Indian Tangled, which was so sweet of her. So now I have my pinky sweater for when it's time to knit a little octopus sweater. Thank you for that. Trey Liz stopped in and she gave me her new shawl pattern, Alalis, and a kit to go with it. Look at this kit. So we have an interview coming up and we will talk about it again on that interview, but I just wanted to show you this beautiful kit. I'm not, you know me, I'm not, I'm never sure if I'm actually going to knit with everything, so stay tuned because sometimes I give things away. But I tried this on, I wore it in the interview, it's so cozy, it's so brioche and it's such a party going from the light to dark and with all of Trey Liz's amazing color sense. Color is power! I mentioned it before, but Bijou Basin has sent me some yarn to try out. So this is the Gobi, which is 65% silk, 35% baby camel. Isn't that beautiful? It's... 
it's soft in a very unexpected way. It's kind of in the cashmere category, if I'm being honest, and it seems very drapey. And then this is the Bijou Spun Colorful Eclectic, 50% Yak Down, 50% Mulberry Silk. And these are totally my colors, but don't worry, these are sort of the rarity. They have a lot more natural colors. So thank you so much Bijou Basin for sending me that yarn. I am really looking forward to trying this out. And you should go check it out too. Also from Espas Chico is this Tuku Wool. I haven't tried this before. I know Melissa and Lisa discovered this at EYF. And it's this beautiful sort of mauve purpley, purpley-pinky. And it's finished wool. Lisa had a shawl made out of it and it's so nice. So they brought me a little skein to try. Thank you, girls. I have some new books. This is Nomadic Knits, issue one, Florida. Look how cute. Look how cute this is. There's a coupon code down below just for you, so you can go check it out at a discount. I love it. There's graph paper in the back, and this is this is um, all sorts of actually different. You can't see it, but there's dot to dot paper, there's lined paper, there's honeycomb paper, and there's graph paper, so you can do some sketching, get some ideas. And it seems like there's a good variety of projects in here. Editors are Melissa and Becky of Nomadic Knits. I think this book is perfect for you to get ready for your spring wardrobe. So, um, just one tank top that I wanted to show you. Look how cute this is. It's just sort of a basic silhouette. And then it has this little triangle flare on the side. Very cute. I think that would be very fun with some of our indie dyed yarns in that little panel on the side. So check out Nomadic Knits, thank you for sending this my way. I Knit Paris is now in the house. If you saw my Indie Untangled video, you saw Kathleen Dames showing you some samples from it. All of them are pretty mind-blowing. The, the number of designers is quite incredible. I think one of my favorite pieces are these socks because having just come back from Paris, this definitely looks Parisian. Like I, I think of that green color and those shapes. There's also a very cool Eiffel Tower shawl made by uh, Julian It's in Paris. And Kathleen was telling me that the I Eiffel Tower is painted in three different colors so that it looks like one color. There must be something in physics or art or something. And um, so it's made, I think the sample was made in a gradient to reflect that. So this is really fun. This is from the ladies who did I Knit New York from One More Row Press. Finally, fairy knitting. Ooh. This is a new to me book. So it's a combination of Alice Hoffman and Lisa Hoffman. And what's cool about this book is it's, it says 14 tales of love and magic. So Alice Hoffman, who's an author, has written a short story at the beginning of each chapter and then there's a pattern to go with it. So if you are really into books and knitting, I think this could be for you. So this photography is very magical. For example, this is chapter two. Look at this, she's wearing this beautiful capelet. And just for about two pages, there's a story. And then there's a pattern to go with it. And I just love the, ma I love when things mash up that we, that we love, like literature and knitting. Here, here's another example of one of the patterns. So it's really whimsical, really fun. I'm hoping to have at least Lisa, maybe both, on my channel to talk about it. But I feel like this could be a really good gift for the special knitter in your life who also loves to read and is a fan of Alice Hoffman and Lisa Hoffman. At New York Sheep and Wool, I stopped by the Morehouse Farm booth. We've been trying to coordinate to do an interview for my channel, but she handed me some yarn to play with. So I don't have the label for this, but look at this. It's This is so incredibly soft. I'm actually kind of shocked right now at how soft this wool is. Whoa, whoa. And I'm pretty sure it's sheep, sheep wool. You got me this lobster claw kit. Green Mountain Spinnery sent me their project of the month. This is a Lopez Island cap. 200 yards of Lopez Island wool, look at that. With some contrast for the brim and a little tool in case you need it. You can sign up for the Green Mountain Spinnery projects and they're really doable. I feel like it's a, if, you, if you've lost your knitting mojo, you should sign up for that because you get a project, then you make it, la la la. So great. I had an interview with Shelly of Loops and look what she gave me as a thank you. Yeah, it's la bien La bien I can say it right. 
This is Malachite. Whoa. This is Heliodor. Mm -hmm. And this is Fluoromorganite. Look at those together. And with her Loops Club, she has some flair. Here is a Knit the World Together pin. Also, a little post-it note pack. So smart. And special delivery stitch markers from your Loops, Loops Club. Oh, there's mints in here too. Little mints and little notions. Very fun. That's it for my latest stash acquisitions. I tend to be a little collector of knitting things. You might have noticed that. But hopefully this can broaden your knitting world and you can check out some new to you items. Thanks for checking in. See you later. Bye.